Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to make the structures for mob bosses very similar to how iron golems are built or the wither is built. So with soul sand you use um, for the wither and the trigger of the block is actually the wither skulls where the iron golem and snow golem use pumpkins and um, depending on the type of material it is the block that needs to be placed first so pumpkins would be the trigger block so I've basically set up the very similar mechanics now it does support vanilla entities as well as other entities as well so um, mod entities and uh, it can even be done technically through the uh, summon command as well if you do it this way so um, it has quite a wide support for cross mod um, basically entities as well you just need to know the entity ID and what to basically summon it with now if you don't know how to use a summon command you can just basically type slash summon and then what you would do if it's a different mod then you would basically type the namespace for that mod so uh, for example I have CCTV craft as my mod that I'm working if I ever added an entity then you would go CCTV craft and then do a colon and then you would do the entity name now you can also use tab to basically select uh, from a list now if we go back to the minecraft uh, namespace we can actually hit tab and it will cycle through all the different types of entities so you could do it through a summon command I'll show you how to do that in just a minute but uh, obviously you can also do it through the built-in procedures and stuff like that as well which is what I'm doing in this example so if we place down two emerald blocks and then we place down our pumpkin it will summon a creeper but it got stuck because um, I didn't offset it properly so let's try that again I'll put it over here and we'll just uh, go and do one two and then we'll put the pumpkin and he should fall into the water there we go we got a charged creeper now if we were to do the summon command we wouldn't have to strike the lightning as well which would not set him on fire which would also be a lot better for his health I guess and we can also control where the entity gets summoned as well through the command so there is a few pros and cons to actually using the summon command versus the actual spawn entity command or procedure block so let's go into amp creator and I'll show you basically the very short script for creating this little guy right here <laughs> So we have just one procedure and this is just run from a when block is placed per se or global trigger and literally this is all that's going on with the script itself so uh, what we're doing is we're testing for three blocks now we require uh, basically to test for our current block that we're basically placing so this would be any of the types of skulls or pumpkins that we basically use to place on the actual structure block this needs to be the exact coordinates of where we're basically placing the item so in our case the trigger block would be for the pumpkin because it's X Y and Z now what we're also testing for is if below that block has are basically our body blocks now this can be any block this can be at any location a uh, relative to where the pumpkin is you could do a really complex model and have very specific uh, related things that you need for the condition to work and what you would do is just basically offset your X Y and Z and what this will do is if it's not the X Y and Z of the exact location where your block is being placed then we'll test for those locations for your emerald blocks or whatever uh, block that you want to basically test for. Now the next thing that we actually need to do after we test for our blocks to make sure they're in the right place is we need to remove all the blocks that 
are basically in the way for the entity, which in our case, um, we have just our material blocks and we have the pumpkin. So we need to remove the pumpkin, remo remove the two emerald blocks. And then what we can do is basically summon the creature. So in our case, I summoned the, uh, the entity creeper. And because there isn't a charged creeper in this list, I couldn't find one. Um, what I've basically done was just uh, strike lightning. And then it kind of has to be above water for that to work. But if we use a command for the summon, we can actually get that to work in just a second. So there is a site that I can go to to get the up-to-date um, commands and stuff for Minecraft. Now I'll just give me a minute and I'll pop that up on the screen. So if we go to mcstacker.net, what we can do is we can go and click on the summon command. Now this uh, particular version is for 1.15. You might want to uh, make sure that you have the right version. He does have a few pages for different versions. Uh, you can find all of them on this page right here. And if we click on the summon command, we can actually select from a drop-down list of all the entities in vanilla Minecraft. And this will generate what we need for basically spawning the entity that we want. So for for example, if I want to find the charged creeper, somewhere in this list there will be a creeper that is charged. So we would select the creeper itself. And then I'm sure that somewhere in here there is properties for making it charged. So Let's just quickly glance over at all the settings and ignited, uh, explosion, power. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on what the actual variable is. Uh, no AI basically disables AI for the entity itself. I'm um, not sure if the charged creeper is actually a different creeper or if it's the same creeper. Let's see if we can't find a charged creeper. Um, it might be under a different name. Uh, let's see here. Sure, sure it's somewhere in here. Okay, just give me a second. I'll try to find figure out the setting. All right, that didn't take me too long. I actually just stopped the recording and then I checked the powered um, variable right here, the one that I thought it might have been, and it says, on, if you click on the little question marks, it tells you all the different things that it basically does. So if the creeper is charged from being struck by lightning. So if we want that, what we would need to do is we would set this to true, and then what our command for the variable that we need for the Minecraft uh, entity is right up in this particular box right here. Now you don't actually need the the slash for the commands so we can actually disable the remove the slash and then we can just use this and we can go into m creator and rather than use these two blocks what we can go and do is go to world management and then there is execute command and then it has a slash already at the beginning here and then what we can do is we can just paste that in to the section right here. And what that will do is it will basically do the exact same thing as what we were doing with the other entity. Now, we also might want to offset the coordinates just a little bit so we can basically not get the entity stuck a little bit in the block. So what we can do is we can go and set this to off, set this, uh, offset it by 0.5 and then we'll duplicate that again, delete X, and then we'll drag Z over here. And that should center the entity to the um, current block. Now we can also do that with the, through the commands as well. There is some um, coordinates, I think, based in here. So I think there's coordinates, maybe not. Yes, there's coordinates. So we could do relative coordinates and then we could set this to 0.5 and 0 0.5 as well. And then what we can see up here is we have our new custom command line. So we could do that rather than alterating the 
x, y, and z as well. And in most cases, this would work fine. So in our case, this is what we would use. So let's test this out and we'll see how this basically works and if it's any good. All right, so let's quickly place down a couple of these blocks and we will place that down. And as you can see, what it basically happened was we spawned the entity. Now it did kind of jump up in the air. Now that was probably because the um, the relative coordinate for the entity's um, Y is probably at the positive location. Now we could basically set that at a lower location using either the offsetting of the uh, place where the procedure is actually run. So if we go over to our procedure, what we could do is we could set this to y negative one, and that should set the relative spawn location below one, or we could basically set this to negative one, and that would do the exact same thing as this particular block here. So basically that's how you can use the summon command to basically spawn entities of any kind. Now, if, again, if you were to want to change the namespace, uh, it wouldn't be too much different if you wanted to just do that. From the Minecraft one, you just change the first name, so CC TV craft, and say if I had a creeper, then we could use the creeper variable and that would target the mod CCTV craft, spawn that particular entity name or that entity, and then you can basically set the location of it. Now, most of the other settings won't apply to the entity because um, you don't have access to the MPT variables and stuff like that for through the summon command if it's a custom mod or whatever, but uh, you can, actually spawn it through commands. So outside of that, uh, that's all I have time for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.